Okay, how are you everyone? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, how are you? Good evening. Sending good. Nice to see you one more time. Welcome, Maria de los Angeles. We have Jensi, Veronica. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, Edith Lorena. Welcome. Hi. 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 Good Hi, evening. Teacher. Angelica, okay. welcome. We have Jonathan. Welcome, Lenny. Jessica Esmeralda, Luz Garcia, Roxana Guadalupe, and Gabriela mm -hmm. Vigail. How are you guys? Everything okay? Yes, okay. Yes. yes we'll start yes. with energy one more week. How was the weekend? Um, I'm working. You were working? Yes. Mm -hmm. Normally right on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> normally teacher normally right always working and working no time to finish the work <laughs> okay remember last week we saw simple present right the wh questions the yes no questions now we continue with simple present but now with another topic and this one everybody likes this one is about food. So we're going to see about, well, this section is section four. We are with our week three, very fast. Imagine so quickly. The Teacher, name disculpe. Unit... Yes, tell me. Veronica. No sé si será mi equipo, pero es que la escucho bien suave. Yes. Okay, let me check the volume here. What about now? Yo la escucho bien. Better. Yes. Better? Se escucha mejor. Un poquito okay. más. And now, yes, thanks. That is good. Okay, good one. Nice. All right, guys. So we're going to study about food. It's a favorite activity, right? To eat. And people like different types of food. The name of this unit is called Broccoli is Good for You. Do you like broccoli? Yes, I like it. it. No, you don't like it, Veronica. Yes, I like it. <laughs> you like it? It's very good, right? Some people, they put some lemon, they put chili, salt, and it's good, right? It's, it's very healthy, actually. So we'll see about learning vocabulary related to the food pyramid. And we'll see about to express the food that you like or that you don't like, so that you dislike. Okay. And we have some food here, almonds. Almonds are good, right? Vegetable and deep. We have chocolates, right? Many people like chocolates. That's delicious. Good evening. Hey, good evening, Juan. Welcome. So we have there. Thank you. Food. Welcome. Welcome to your class. And we have other food here. This one is, well, we have almonds, the chocolates, we have the vegetable, the cookies. We also have cake. Delicious, this cake. This seems to be chocolate cake. Corn chips, right? All the churritos, right? All of those, they are chips. We have candy. We have grapes. We know we have different colors of grape, right? The purple one and the green ones. Okay. Let's check other vocabulary. We also have about the junk food. So the food that is not very good for the body, but is delicious. And that's the famous choris, right? Do you like choris? I like choris. <laughs> they are very good. Choris are very good. Ice cream. What about ice cream? Do you like ice cream? It's yes. also good. Yes. Peanuts. We also yeah. have peanuts. Mm -hmm. Pineapple, all related to fruit. We have watermelon, potato chips, popcorn. Like when you're watching a movie, they are ideal to do that, to eat popcorn. Pizza. Everybody likes pizza, I think, right? Some person say, no, I don't like pizza. But there are many people that they like pizza. As we know, they have different ingredients. Now, do you have herbs? Can you mention other type of food? Other type of food? Hamburger. Hamburger, very good. 
What else? Tacos. Tacos, they are delicious. Yes, Mexican food actually in Yelder is very good. What else? <laughs> Juan Antonio, any other food? Mm. Pupusas. Pupusas. Oh. Why no? How don't remember Salvadorian food? Yes, or typical delicious food. Jensi. Tamales. Tamales. Delicious tamales. Yeah, that's good. Yes, what else? Sandwiches, right? Also good for snacks. Jensi? I'm sorry? No, me escuchan. Yeah, right now, yes. Uh -huh, you can mention your favorite food. Mm, camarones. Uh, ah, shrimp. Uh, shrimp with garlic. Shrimp, they are delicious also. Yeah, that's good. What about you, Edith? Uh, el cóctel de camarones, pero oh, en shrimp salsa cocktail. roja. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, yeah, they are good, the actually. Uh -huh. Yeah, con like cocktail. a cocktail, right? Mm -hmm. They are Un delicious. peruano, pero con camarones. Ah, so it's Peruvian. Mm -hmm. It's in a different manner, right? They prefer sí, different. Lleva, la diferencia es porque lleva elotitos. Really? Ah, mm -hmm. it has corn. They a have la other. peruana es que yes. solo le ponen elotitos. Solo Ajá. es. Ah, mm -hmm. that is the, the extra ingredients. Ajá, así es. All right, that's good. Sí. <laughs> delicious, right? Really delicious. We are going to watch a video, and this one is about four power foods and the food pyramids. So let's verify it here. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You'll also learn how to express the foods that you like and dislike. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary on this food pyramid. Food pyramid. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. Listen and practice. Fat, oil, sugar, cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips, meat and other protein, fish, beans, nuts, chicken, eggs, beef. Dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese, fruit, bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes, vegetables, broccoli, carrots, lettuce, Tomatoes, potatoes, grains, bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. Now, I would like for you to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. To do this, we're going to express the food that we like and don't like. We will practice each section of the food pyramid. Let me give you a couple of examples. For the first section, fat, oil, sugar, I like cream, butter, and oil. I don't like candy and potato chips. The idea here is to practice all the vocabulary. So while you may like all the stuff from this food pyramid, I would like for you to think about your friends, family, and coworkers. And think about 
their likes and dislikes. Um, for example, my sister likes milk, uh, yogurt, uh, but she doesn't like cheese. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to use all the vocabulary that we learned on this lesson and express likes and dislikes. After you complete this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, watch and listen to the video there with different, right, about the pyramids, with different foods. We have good food for the body, also bad food for the body. So let's check here. We're going to have some exercise to express the food that I like and the one that I don't like. So we have the examples there. I like cream, butter, and oil. I don't like candy and potato chips. Now, if you talk about other persons, then it will be, my sister likes milk, yogurt, but she doesn't like cheese. Let's remember here that in the third person, we have the verb, but we need to include the S to the verb. Now, if we use the base form of the verb, we just have like four subjects, like I, you, we, they, like, base form. Third person, he, she, it, with the S form of the verb. Now, let's go ahead on this one. Like, edit, Lorena. Can you give us, please, one more example? Um, I like the fruit. I mm. like fruit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, strawberries. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like fruit. I like fruit. Uh, strawberries. Strawberries. Uh huh. Uh, with yogurt. With yogurt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's delicious and very healthy. And yogurt. Okay. Now, what about the and one cereal. that you don't like? Uh huh. And cereal. And cereal too. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good. Okay. Uh, that's it. What about I, I don't? I don't. Uh, I don't like. Excellent. Cake, the chocolate. Chocolate cake. Okay, chocolate cake. I don't like chocolate cake. Uh -huh. Um, ¿qué puedo decir? Ah, es de... Solamente eso. Oh, no, that's what you don't like? like? Okay, great. Thank you. Ah, great. Great. Good job. Yes. No me gusta, pero no uh -huh. sé cómo se dice este las... What is another one? El, 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 ese cóctel que hacen de esas conchas. Ah, shell yes. cocktail. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't like a chocolate cake and mm -hmm. shacks, right? You're going to be like shell cocktail. Pero, cocktail. Así se dice. Shell cocktail, yes. Shell is conchas. Huh? Ah, shell, shell cocktail. Ah. Uh -huh. You don't like it, right? Yeah. <laughs> you no. like it, shrimp, shrimp That's... cocktail. Okay, nice. Thank you. That's good. Really good job. Now, Jensi, tell us the things that you like. What is the food that you no, like? No, no, no. Almonds. Almonds. Do you like almonds? Ah, yes, they are delicious. And they say that it's very good, right? To eat the seeds. Okay. I like almonds. Okay. I like almonds. Chocolates. Chocolates. And cake. And cake. Excellent. Now, what is the food that you don't like? Mm -hmm. I don't like? What will be? I don't um, like. This. Uh, grapes. grapes. You don't like grapes? Uh -huh. Grapes. Okay, you don't like them. Very good. Nice one. Thank you. Maria de los Angeles, continue. Okay. I like um, vegetable and dip. 
Mm, very good. You like vegetables? And, and beef, candy. Right? Yes. And candies. Excellent. Good. But I don't like um, uh -huh. pasta. You don't like pasta? Any kind of pasta? No pasta? Definitely. No pasta. Okay. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, At all. Okay. And. Yeah. Yeah, only those ones? All right. right. Thank you. Very good. Continue. Gabriela, Abigail, tell us about the food that you like. I like pizza. Mm, okay. Um, chocolate. Chocolates. Pizza, chocolates. Um, and candies. And candies. Okay. And you don't like? What's the food that you don't like? I don't like cookies, cake. Mm -hmm. You don't like cookies? Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Gabriela. Good. Juan Antonio, continue, please. What's the food that you like? I like um, the free. You like? Uh, shrimp. Camarones. Oh, shrimp. 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 Uh, fish. Fish. Okay. Um. Beef. Beef. Yes. So in general, the meat. Right? Um, <laughs> yes. That's good. And you don't like? What is the food you don't like? You don't like uh, pasta. Pasta. Okay. What else? Um, rice. Rice. You don't like rice? No. Oh, but okay. That's good. This one is also similar than pasta too, right? <laughs> kind of, kind of heavy. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's, uh... Very good. Thank you, Veronica Cepeda. What? Continue, please. I like shrimps. Shrimp? No, S. Beef. Shrimp. Beef. Fish. That's good. Okay. And fresh French fries. French fries. Hey, they are. And delicious. desserts. And desserts, very good. And you don't like? I don't like vegetables. You don't like vegetables? Pasta. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Pasta and uh -huh. chocolate cake. And chocolate cake. Okay, very good. Thank you. Continue. Christian Daniel. Christian, are you there? Um, I like cookies, chocolate cake. Chocolate and I don't like vegetables. Vegetables, all right, very good. Thank you. Okay, now let's continue giving a, or expressing the food that uh, a person that you know, maybe your friend, your family, okay. they like or they don't like. For example, here we have my mother likes cookies. Now let's check is this correct or incorrect? I need you to tell me. My mother likes cookies. Is correct or incorrect? Correct. 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 Are you sure? It's correct. Likes. Excellent. So it's incorrect, right? What do you need? The yes. The yes. Yes. Excellent. That's good. So now it says, my mother likes cookies, but she doesn't like chocolates. Now, remember that here, this part is affirmative. For that reason, you say, my mother likes cookies. But here we have a negative part, but she doesn't like chocolates. We have the auxiliary for negative for the third person singular, doesn't. And after that, you need the verb in the base form. Why base form? Because you have auxiliary. So you don't need the S here. Now let's express here. Let's go ahead. Jessica, no, Jessica, she says she's a listener today, but uh, Ada. hello, Ada. Hello, teacher. Hi, Ada. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Uh, very fine. Thank you for asking. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Give us an example, please. Um, About other like, person. And I, uh, oh, okay. About um, other person. Maybe your okay. father, sister, or friend. Um, My mother like, likes. Likes. Third person. Likes. Uh -huh. Likes all the kids. 
Oh, ah, okay. Eh. All type of cake. Eh, eh. Ah, okay. Yes. And, then, and um, but she doesn't uh, like. He doesn't. Doesn't she doesn't like um she doesn't like the lemon she doesn't like lemon okay lemon. it's too lemon. acid yes very good thank you Ada. that's right good Oscar. thank you so much oscar continue please yes, yes, yes. give us an example about other person that you know my father likes my friend likes Okay, so uh, my friend like uh likes my friend likes like uh, huh, my friend likes um uh, uh, orange likes orange okay mm -hmm. but now say the negative but the, uh, uh but uh, he don't and doesn't, like to doesn't like uh, doesn't he doesn't like. <laughs> But he, but he doesn't like um, uh, strawberry. Strawberries, very good. Thank Strawberry. you. That's all okay. right. Great, Christian. Continue. Um, my sister like likes cookies. Likes, likes cookies. cookies. But she doesn't like uh, fish. Fish. Excellent. Very good job, Ibis. <laughs> Hi, Ibis. Welcome. Yeah, good night, teacher. Hey, good evening, Ibis. Yeah. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you for asking. Okay. Um, uh, in tercera persona or Please. in primera? In the third person. Talk okay. about other person. Um, see. My sister like, uh, likes the vegetable. Likes, like it. likes vegetables? Ve Vegetal. Vegetables. Uh -huh. Ah, perdón. Vegetables. vegetables. Nice. Ajá. Uh Ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. But she doesn't uh, like chocolate cake. Ah, that's very good. Thank you. That's right. Good. Let's see. We'll continue with Verónica Alegría. Talk about a third person, please. My sister likes cheese. Likes cheese. Likes cheese. But she doesn't like milk. 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 Very good job. Thank you. Let's continue. Let's see. Lenin. Lenin Monterosa. Lenin, are you present? Rene? Rene Alfonso? Hello, Luz Garcia. My father likes soup chicken. Chicken soup? And chicken soup? Uh, chicken soup. Nice. But he doesn't like uh, candy and cookies. Candy and cookies. Very good. Thank you. That's correct. Jessica Esmeralda. Jessica Esmeralda, Roxana Guadalupe, Roxana, I'm here. All right. Can you give us another example, please? Uh, in first person or? In the third person. Okay. Um, my brother like, likes. 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 My brother likes the um, the grapes. Likes grapes? Likes grapes. And oh. but he doesn't like um cookies. Cookies. Very good. That's nice. Great. Joaquin? Are you here, Joaquin? Yes. All right. Uh, una oración sería, ¿verdad? Please. Uh, my my father likes it cookies. Likes. 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 Very good. My father likes cookies. Very good. But he doesn't. But she doesn't is he doesn't. Doesn't. Uh-huh. Doesn't. 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 
But she doesn't. He doesn't. Like... He. He, because he's father, right? Father? Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, very good. Nice. He, okay. He does. But he doesn't like. He doesn't like uh, sería cookies, no? Ajá, uh -huh, it can be cookies. Ajá, uh -huh, yes. Mm -hmm. Good one. Thank you. All right. Okay, we have here likes and dislikes about the different foods. Some of you like cake, others don't like cake. Some of you like uh, cookies, others don't like cookies. Some like vegetables, others don't like. They don't like, they don't tolerate them. So let's check here. Another part. We got the practice here. And now we're going to start dividing here. It says by the end of this class, you will learn what count and non counts, non count nouns are. Additionally, you will learn how to use the expression some and any. We're going to remember about some and any. Those are quantifiers. But first, let's also remember that count nouns are the nouns that are possible to count or to put a number, like to say one, two, three. So let's say they are possible to count individually. For example, in the case of the tomatoes, you can count the tomatoes, right? To say the quantity in numbers. So one tomato, two tomatoes, three tomatoes in a, a small quantity or a big quantity or a specific number or a general quantity. The same case with the potatoes. We say potatoes. We say it's possible to count. One, two, three potatoes, right? A big quantity or a small quantity of potatoes. Same happens with mango. Do you like mango? Yes, I yes. like. Yeah. I like. Yes, I like. They are delicious, right? What about the twister mango? Mm, rico también. It's delicious, actually. It's very good. Okay, so we have mango. We have carrots. I'm sorry? Yes? I have a mango tree. Do you have a mango tree? <gasps> wow, you have a paradise. Yeah. <laughs> you have a paradise yes. in your house. Yeah. Yes. Oscar, I think you have mango. Sí. Mango. Mango. Sí. Oscar. La palabra también. Sí. Este, no se escucha muy bien del audio. No sé si solo, solo yo le escucho así, pero se escucha como interferencia. Sí. Cortado. Sí, ¿De verdad? Se le escucha cortado. Ajá. You have problems with the audio. Sí, hay interferencia. Ajá, hay interferencia. Sí. Se, escucha bien. se escucha bien, ¿verdad? Okay, sí, yo le escucho bien. Ok, now. Luego, luego después. Tal, tal vez va mejorando. Ajá. Ok. So, what about carrots? Sí. They are good in salads, right? In soup. In chicken soup. They are very good also. Good for the, the skin, right? They are very good for the skin. The juice, the carrot juice is very good. Hamburgers. Do you like hamburgers? They are good, right? I like. <laughs> Do you like them? Yeah, salsa. <laughs> what about apples? We have yeah. many people like apple, the apple juice. Yeah. We have different colors of apples too. Hot dogs. Do you like hot dogs? <laughs> yes, choris, the famous yes. choris. Yes. <laughs> so hot dogs are hot possible dogs. to count. Like when you go to buy choris, say, how many choris do you want? Hot. One, two, three, hot three for all your family, right? Choris. The choris, yes. <laughs> so they are possible to count. Green peppers also, right? That you put in salads, you can put to the soup also. They come in different colors, also depending on the country, right? It's the form of the green peppers there. Now, these ones are the nouns that are possible to count. They are related to food. So other things that are possible to count are, for example, if you talk about shoes, it's possible to count shoes. Houses, you say one house, two houses, three houses. What else? Give me more examples of count nouns. Of cars. Cosas contables, yes? Cars, wow. very good. 
Excellent. What else? Yeah. I'm sorry? Yeah. House, car, ah, clothes. Very good. What else? Cell phones. Cell phones. Excellent. Very good. What else is possible to count? Jonathan? Jonathan, are you there? Um, grapes. Grapes, yes. It's possible to count grapes. That's good. What else? Luz? Strawberries. Strawberries, yes. Very good. So all of these nouns are possible to count individually. One, two, three, four, five. A small quantity or big quantity? Banana. Bananas are possible to count also. Yes, that's very good. Now, let's check others. The other type of nouns, they are uncount nouns. So that is the opposite. They are not possible to count individually. Like when you say, for example, jam. Jam, jalea, right? It's not possible to say dos jaleas, tres jaleas, no. But maybe if you count by the deposits or by the specific quantities, los depósitos o las cantidades, sí, como un bote de jalea, eh, cucharadas de jalea, pero ahí ya contaríamos las cantidades o las medidas en específico. Pero en sí, el, el elemento es incontable. It's like water, for example, el agua, no decimos dos aguas. You don't say two waters, right? But we say a glass of water, a bottle. Ajá. The honey. Uh -huh. The honey. Uh -huh. Honey is not countable, exactly. Yeah, so you can count the teaspoons, as cucharaditas, si se pueden. So las eh, medidas, si se pueden. ¿no? Pero en sí, el elemento, no, cannot. Like cheese also, we don't say two cheeses, right? We say cheese in general. Also ice cream, right? Eh, we here in El Salvador say dos sorbetes, but no, las medidas son como cucharadas grandes, like a scoop, a scoop of ice cream. Or a corn. Popcorn. We don't say two popcorns, right? Podemos decir dos bolsitas, right? Popcorn in general. Potato chips. Also, we have chicken. Chicken, it can be in the case if you're talking about meat. Chicken, cuando hablamos en el caso de carne, la carne en general es incontable. Dos carnes, no, ¿verdad? Pero libras de carne, sí. Ahora, si hablamos de el pollo, si está vivo, entonces sí es contable. Like, I have two chickens. Tengo dos pollos en la casa. I have two chickens, pero están vivos. They survive. <laughs> But when you talk about the meat, cuando hablamos de la carne de pollo, entonces es incontable. Menos que, como les mencionaba, eh, se expresen con medidas de cantidad. Las libras, las onzas. So you talk about two pounds of chicken, three pounds of chicken. And also bread. Bread is not countable. We can say pieces of bread. Se cuenta por piezas, right? But here in El Salvador, deme dos panes, we say. <laughs> they are pieces of bread, right? So this is not countable. So it's not two breads, three breads. Another case would be spaghetti. So it's for pasta in general. We don't say two pastas or two spaghettis. Beef. What is beef? Carne. Carne. Pero de res. Ah, sí. De res, sí. So, in a specific. When we talk about uh, carne, but in general, then you say like this, meat. Pero es en general. Pero pues sabemos que tenemos diferentes tipos de carne. So Porque cuando dice, excuse yes. me. Porque cuando es de cerdo, creo que solo se dice algo así como pi, ¿verdad? Algo right. así. Pork, cuando nos referimos pork. a la yeah. carne, es pork. Pero si me refiero al animal vivo, es pig. Es pig, ¿verdad? Ajá, correct. Mm -hmm. Y si ya es carne de cerdo, entonces es pork. Es pork. Pork. Mm -hmm. Ajá, correct. Sí, sí, por ahí estaba leyendo algo, parecido. Ajá. Si so, tú you like pork, o sea, yes, I like pork for dinner, <laughs> for Christmas, right? People mm. eat, right, pork for Christmas, too. Okay. So beef is a specific specific sí. type of meat. Now we have lemonade is liquid, so we don't say two lemonades, but we can say a glass of lemonade, two glasses of lemonade, because it's a liquid. Questions? Do you have questions in this part? 
¿Qué, tisha, ¿qué significa la palabra uncount? Uncount, incontable. Uncount, incontable. Incontable, nombres incontables. And mm -hmm. the previous one, the one that you have here, is the contrary. Count nouns son contables, nombres contables. Mm -hmm. So we have count and non-count. Now, we have other examples here. It says quantity words with count and non-count. So in this manner, it's possible to count if it's to, uh, uh, count nouns or not count. For example, for the singular count, huh? tomato, remember, uh, uh, is referring to one. So a tomato, one tomato, plural, you can make it plural, right? Because you can count okay. tomatoes, two tomatoes, three tomatoes. Non count, coffee, we know that is liquid. So we don't say two coffees, right? In informal manner, people say two coffees, but it's referring to the two cups of coffee, three cups of coffee, but it's liquid. Puede contar, pero simplemente solo como una, digamos, como se está diciendo, por, por, por cucharadas, o Ajá. por decir, o por dos o por tazas. Las tazas. O por tazas. Las tazas. Pero no café. podemos decir, lleva 20 dos semillas cafés. de café. Ajá. O 20 semillas de café. Eh, Esas pero... serían seeds. Ah, ajá. Sería, porque ahí ya, está, ya sería una medida ajá, sí. pero ajá, si nos referimos sí. al, al café como el líquido eh, podemos hablar de las tazas de café ajá, uh -huh. correct. cups of coffee uh -huh. three cups of coffee ok uh -huh. so in that manner is possible to count right, utilizando uh -huh. las medidas sí, pero ahí ya se, con, se cuenta como el, el depósito, el, repres, el recipiente más no el okay. elemento Same case here, one tomato, two tomatoes, two cups of coffee. Mm -hmm. So look at here, it's not two coffees. De manera informal, pues se utiliza, deme dos cafés. Like when you go to the restaurant, dos cafés. <laughs> Pero se refiere uno a las tazas de café. Come. Now, with the plural count, you have some tomatoes. Remember some? Es un cuantificador. Ya sea some or no or any. Como se lo puede decir, deme eh, tomate. Algunos. Ajá, ajá, ajá. So you say, algunos tomates. Generalmente aquí es, se ocupa así este, regularmente como, eh, tiene tomates. O exactly. No, so... uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ya tiene tomates. Do you have some tomatoes? In English, you need to use some or you have any. Por más formalidad. Pero uh -huh. también se puede utilizar. Do you have tomatoes? Uh -huh. But it's more formal. To use, do you have some tomatoes? Do you have uh, any tomatoes? In the negative, you have no tomato. No tomatoes, no coffee. Es como decir, no hay. No, no hay okay. existencia. No hay existencia. So like <laughs> any any tomatoes with questions and negative. Remember that here we use also, right? Any to formulate questions or to give negatives. Any coffee. So this quantifier, we can use it for questions, but also uh, for the negatives and for counts, it's possible to count, right? Or nouns that are not possible to count. Another quantifier will be a lot of, a lot of means mucho o muchos o bastantes. Es un quantificador que expresa una cantidad grande, no exagerada, pero una cantidad grande. So you can say a lot of tomatoes, a lot of coffee, many tomatoes. This is another quantifier de muchos. Puede sustituir a lot of many tomatoes, much coffee. Con café no se puede utilizar many porque many es solo para plural. Much, that will be for mucho café, but with questions and negatives. A few tomatoes, this a few, that means pocos. And it's for plurals. Uh -huh. Then a liter. Is for non count. Ese a liter es otro cuantificador, pero expresa una cantidad pequeña de algo incontable. Poco café. A little honey, a little sugar, a little salt, um, a little pasta, a little water. Several. A little oil. A little oil, perfect. A little flour, poca harina, a little. Several, several, otro cuantificador. That's varios o varias. So, solo se utiliza con plurales. Several tomatoes, several cups of coffee. Si vemos acá, ya no dice several coffees, varios cafés. No, varias 
uh, tasses de café, several cups of coffee. And this one is to formulate questions like how many tomatoes, like cuántos tomates, how much coffee, cuánto café. So this is the case, this other quantifier. Esa es la manera de cómo uno puede cuantificarlos. Questions about this? Me dijo que significaba a lot, a lot of tomatoes. A lot of, that means bastantes. Ah, bastantes. Bastantes o muchos. Pero solo significa, solo la palabra como lot. Lot. Ajá, solo, solo lot. Solo oh. lot puede significar un área. Por ejemplo, cuando decimos parking lot, cuando ya va unido con parking, se refiere a, al área del estacionamiento. Qué? Ajá, pero ya debe llevar parking lot. Es un área. Uh -huh. Y parking en ese lot. caso, eh, sería solo unos tomates o como. Ah, no, in this one, no. Pero tiene que ir acá, toda la frase, para que signifique varios o muchos debe de llevar la flate, eh, frase completa, like a lot of tomatoes, oh, a lot oh. of cups of coffee. Siempre tiene que ir eh, la frase. La A y la Ajá. O. Ajá, correct. So a lot of. La frase completa ya hace un cuantificador. Uh -huh. Muchos tomates, bastantes tomates. A lot of oranges. Uh -huh. A lot of pieces of bread. Uh -huh. Yeah, so of, a lot of carrots. So all of those. Okay, gracias. You're very welcome. Now, el, el, yes, el, café se puede, el, el café se puede contar también cuando vienen las cajitas por los sobrecitos. Ah, you can count the boxes or bags. Mm -hmm. Si quiere contar mm -hmm. las cajas, entonces contamos esa medida. Like um, a lot of boxes or two boxes. Like this. No, two boxes. El café instantáneo, perdón, el café instantáneo que viene en las bolsitas para poder they, contar cuántas hay adentro. They are bags. Ajá, uh -huh. for example, normally the box of coffee, it has like 50, right? 50 bags. Uh -huh. 50 uh -huh. bags. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Of uh -huh. coffee. Ajá. Uh -huh. 50 bags of coffee. Son 50 bolsitas de café. Uh -huh. Ahí ya estamos contando pero eh, las medidas, que son las bolsitas. Uh -huh. Y así son cajas, pues entonces así de acá. Two boxes, two boxes of coffee. Dos cajas de café, two boxes, uh -huh. three boxes. A lot of boxes. Uh -huh. Some boxes of coffee. Uh -huh. Some eh, bags of coffee. Entonces, lo que contamos es las medidas, pero no el elemento en sí. Okay. Uh -huh. We are going to pass the list, guys. Let me know if you are present, please. Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right, number one, Adali said. Teacher. Hello. I'm present, teacher. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz, are you present? Angelica Maria. Present. Thank you, Angelica. Carlos Arturo. Present. Thank you so much. Christian Daniel. I'm here. Thank you, Christian. Edith Lorena. Present. Okay. Thank you, Edith. Fatima Yesenia. Fatima Yesenia. Present. Thank you, Fatima. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Abigail. Gabriela. I remember I saw Gabriela. Aquí, aquí. Yes, yes. very good. Thank you, Gabi. Ibis. Present teacher. Yes, Thank you. Jessica Franco. Jessica Franco. Jessica Saraí. No. Joaquín de Jesús. Present. Thank you, Joaquín. Jonathan Adonai. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jonathan. Juan Antonio. Present. Thank you. Catherine Rebecca. Catherine Rebecca. Kevin Orlando. 
Kevin Orlando, Lenin Monterrosa, Lenin Monterrosa, Liliana Patricia, Lenin also present in el chat. Ah, okay, thank you, thank you so much. Liliana Patricia, Liliana, Luz Margel. Present. Thank you. Thank you, Luz. Maria de Los Angeles. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Alberto. Mauricio Alberto. Miguel Antonio. Miguel Antonio. Olimpia Valeria. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Miguel. I remember. I saw you. De acuerdo que lo vi por ahí. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Olimpia Valeria. <laughs> Sí, para aquí soy. Thank you, Miguel. Olimpia. Oscar Esaú. Oscar Esaú. René Alfonso. René Alfonso. I remember Present. I saw René right there. Yes, very good. Thank you. Present. Roxana. Thank you, René. Roxana. Roxana Guadalupe. Yes, thank you, Roxana. Verónica Cepeda. Present. Thank you, Verónica. Verónica Alegría. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Jensi Alexandra. Present. Present, right? Yes, thank you. Jessica Esmeralda. Present, teacher. Thank you. And Jessica Rivas. Jessica Rivas. She's a listener, she told me. All right. Thank you guys so much. Okay, let's go ahead here. Jessica dijo que iba a estar de oyente me. Yes, I saw here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Acaba de decir yes, que present. present. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we have also Lenin, Jessica, thank you. Okay, let's go ahead here then. And now we have the use here of some and any. And we're going to watch the video. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn what... No problem, right, guys, with the video? No, teacher. No? Okay, perfect. No. Thank you. No. Thank you. But count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How about some sandwiches? Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. 
Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Non-count nouns. Bread. Lemonade. Specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? Our next question, do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, is answered positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use any when responding negatively. So as we can see on both of the questions display, no, we don't need any eggs. Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. I would like for you to look into your fridge and make a list of all the things that you need and don't need to buy from the grocery store. For example, I need some eggs. I don't need any milk. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, then on the video, you got there some examples using some and any. So let's remember and apply that these quantifiers are used like this. For example, if you have a question, do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some or let's get some eggs. If you have the word in parentheses, it's because you can omit. So it's optional if you want to repeat it or not. Or if it's negative, no, we don't need any eggs. So let's observe here. If it's affirmative, you can use the quantifier some. But if it's negative, then the quantifier is any. Another example will be, do we need any bread? In a question, you can use any. Yes, let's get some bread. Or yes, let's get some. Negative, no, we don't need any bread. Or no, we don't need any. So affirmative, some. Negative, any. In the count nouns, you have an egg. Remember that eggs is possible to count, right? Like when you go to the store, hey, give me two eggs, three eggs, 10 eggs. A cartoon of eggs also, right? So it's, it's possible to count them. A sandwich, it's possible to say two sandwiches, three sandwiches. Non count nouns, remember, not possible to count. Bread, cannot say two breads, three breads. But you can say pieces of bread or in general. Any bread, some bread, lemonade. That is not countable because it's liquid. Now, let's see for a specific. I'm eating an egg. So it means only one egg. 
let's get some bread. So it's not an bread, right? Or a bread, not countable. In general, eggs are good for you. In general manner, you can also use like a plural manner, eggs. So don't say the eggs because you're generalizing. Cuando estamos generalizando acerca de algo, podemos utilizar la manera singular o puede ser también plural en general. Right? Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. Just that bread, we cannot say a breads, right? Because these ones are not possible to count. So as it was mentioning on the video, what is a noun? Well, a noun is everything that we can give a name. It can be person, place, things in general, right? We can have count nouns, but also it's possible to have non-count nouns. So that is like this, right? So if we have it, we can make it plural. You can make plural, but the nouns that are possible to count, to say a number or to have a, a quantifier to. Examples here, I need some eggs. That's affirmative. Look in the affirmative, you have some. But in negative, I don't need any milk. That would be negative manner. I have other examples here. We have in this one. I need some carrots. Affirmative. Negative. I don't need any onions. In a question, you can use some or any. The two forms are correct. Do you need some sugar for your coffee? How will you answer this question? Do you need some sugar for your coffee? Gabriela? No, How will you answer? No, thank you. Okay, you can answer like that. No, thank you. Good. That will be a very normal manner to answer. And also there is another possibility. You can also say like this. To say, suppose that this yes. one. Oh, please. Ah, okay. If it's affirmative, you could say, yes, yes. I need. Oh. Yes. What? Yes. In this one, I need what? Two, I need two? some sugar. Remember that sugar, ah, you cannot yeah. count. Two so you sugar? use, you use oh. some or any? Este, some? Excellent. Some. Because it's affirmative. I need some. Mm. Uh -huh. So if I was, yes, I need some. Sí, necesito un poco. O, o algo de eso, right? You can also say. But yes, I need some. Si me preguntan cuántas, ¿verdad? Exactly. Because remember, sugar is not countable. Mm -hmm. Como el azúcar no es contable, a menos que yo quiera decir la cantidad de cucharaditas en específico. <laughs> you can yeah. also say, okay. yes, yeah. I need mm -hmm. eh, two teaspoons, for example. Teaspoons. Teaspoons. Yes. Cucharaditas. Ahora, estamos cantando contando la medida, no el azúcar, right? So that is different. Por eso es que podemos utilizar un número acá, two teaspoons. Okay. Yes. Thank so, you. No, thank you. It says, yes, I need some. Yes, I need two teaspoons. I need two teaspoons, please. So that can be this one's like teaspoons. Does the baker need any flour for the cake? Now it's in third person. Why? Because the baker is one person here. What is a baker? Pastelero. Ajá, uh -huh. oh, oh, o el yeah. panadero. El panadero, correct. So they make, uh -huh. right, the bread and all that. And we're using in third person. Mm -hmm. Why we use any? Because it's a question, but it's also to use some. For a question, you can use some or any. But in the time to answer if this one is affirmative, you use some. If it's negative, you use any. Now, how mm. will be this one? Let's suppose that is negative. Oscar, how will it be this one? If it's negative, does the baker need any flour for the cake? Teacher, 
Es claro. que no, no entiendo la pregunta. Does the baker need? What is need? No, es que, es que el, necesitar. Lo que, necesitar. El, necesitar. Baker, no sé qué es. Ah, baker, panadero. 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 So, mm -hmm. The baker is the subject. Ah, el panadero yeah. es el sujeto, right? Okay. El panadero necesita algo de harina para el pastel. Para el pastel. Ajá. Okay. So if it's negative, if it's okay. negative, how will it be? You're welcome. No. No. He doesn't, he, right? He doesn't. Ajá, good. He doesn't, he doesn't he, need it? He doesn't need uh, any flow. Any, any flour. flour. Okay, that's good. Any, any flour. flour. Any flour. Ah, that's good, right? Good one. Okay, we are going to continue with more examples. All right? Teacher, pregunta. Yes. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Porque casi es igual. Se escribe casi igual, solo una letra cambia. Eh... Flower. <laughs> flower. Uh -huh. Just that flower, you mentioned like this, flower. And this one is flower. 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 Uh -huh. And the other one is flower. Where? Flower. Where? Uh -huh. And flower. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That is correct. Yes. Y también piso, floor, flower. Ah, yes. That one is floor. Como con doble O. Floor. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Tomorrow we'll see more examples of this. All right. To continue practicing. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank, you, Thank you so much. Good night. Good night. Have a beautiful night. Good we'll night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful night. Good, Good night. night. I'll see Good you. Chef. Thank you so much. Take care. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams, thank you.